started back in season two and she was only three months old. So she would come to work with me every day and the other kids would go to school. And then sometimes my husband would go pick them up and they'd all come to work and they'd get candy and craft service. They love my work. <laughs> get to like look at guns and go through the Stargate. Yeah, cool. But they're kind of scared of the show. They won't watch it. And we get to travel. Like they're all here with me now. Because I like drama to bring my kids across the world. It's fun. I was going to put out last night. How long ago was that? Um, when you tweeted with that? Oh yes, my twirling. <laughs> <laughs> we expected it. See that again. I don't know. I've been really bad on Twitter lately. Uh, maybe. It depends. It is near Christmas and it's baby number four. I have a lot of scrapbooks. I'm, I I do scrapbooks with my kids every year, and I'm kind of behind right now. So maybe it just depends on where I'm at. I've started my Christmas shopping. And I'm getting a new puppy. I'm going to see her on my Twitter. My puppy was killed. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's horrible. So we're getting the actual day we get home. So we can get to see things. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sorry. Um, what do you think the chances of a Stargate movie, another Stargate movie, coming out from any of the franchises? Uh, I believe Stargate will make a, a resurgence. Absolutely, the franchise um, will. But I don't believe with uh, as the I, I don't. They definitely tried um, what the plan was. Now everyone knows that MGM is the studio that that owns Target, and they are no longer MGM. They're being operated by Spyglass, so um, they're still being called MGM. But basically, everything's changed over there, and like I already and I don't think really that there's a whole lot of interest in the existing. Target franchise. So the sets are all struck, the props are all sold. Um, it's not likely, but they did really try. It, also, the, the direct to DVD market is just not the same as it was. Um, the television market is not the same as it was. I think executives and studios are having to get really creative. So, um, what they wanted to do, which I thought was a good idea, would be to do two movies. One was going to, the pitch was they were going to finish up Stargate Universe in possibly, you know, one hour TV movie type thing, and then do an all star Stargate movie. And then choose, you know, a handful of cast and, and write a storyline that incorporated all three of the Stargates. And they were planning on shooting it in Hawaii. It was a great idea. I hope I was involved. I don't know. I didn't ask. But, um, but you know, it just, it just, it's just not going to work out. I think they should like reboot it as a franchise like they did Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, make it a big, huge movie. Will and Emmerich come back and do another one? I think so. <laughs> What's been my favorite uh, show or project to work on? Um, Oh, each show is so unique, and it, it's really like walking into a family. I mean, a, a small guest star on like NCIS or CSI is always exciting because it's such a big show. Um, playing like on a character like Black Mary on the long running franchise, all those amazing. I would have to say Stargate because I had so this the longest show that I've done, um, you know, 40 episodes. So. Time it is less than two years of work, but it's, we get to really sit with the character and develop the character, and we had such a great time. And we literally walked into a family like that. The crew, the cast, the, everybody's been around. I mean, I remember meeting Amanda for the first time, Amanda Tapping from the production office. And uh, she's such a great woman, and she was like, You are in for one hell of a ride. And I'm like, Okay, and I get what she means. I mean, it's, it's such an interesting. You know, this huge fan base and, and the power that this fan base has. Any scene? Um, my favorite episode of SGU would have to be Time. I thought Time was a great episode. I thought it was really interesting. <laughs> we all had in our first year contract. Um, a six episode clause, which was basically like a you better behave or we can get rid of you clause. And uh, and we didn't really know why. 
And then that was the episode that was put out that week that we were going to get on news from the agent. <laughs> and, was like, and Rob thought it was so funny. He wrote that episode, and, he, and everyone died in that episode in like the alternate universe. And we're, he's like, ah, you guys don't behave. <laughs> and we're like, what did we do? We didn't do anything. But, um, but no, I, I love the episode. I love the way he shot it. Um, I, I love the fact that it was like this you know, flare thing. I didn't understand it. I still don't understand it. You know? so, <laughs> but see, I love when I like, read on the message boards and be like, oh yeah, it's like a time flare. I'm like, yeah, how'd you get that? <laughs> I don't As a mother, how harrowing was it to play losing your baby? Yeah, that's um. Well, when I got pregnant, uh, like the third episode into my new job, <laughs> 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 um, I uh, I called the producers into my into my trailer and I told them, and and it's something that they had thought would be an interesting storyline, not necessarily for the female. You know, but they thought it would be an interesting storyline given the situation that we were in uh, in space, and we all agreed that that it would be an interesting storyline to play, and it would actually give TJ a story because I felt like the TJ Young storyline was really freaking young. It was, you know, his his struggle and it just it happened to be this sort of, you know, elephant in the room. Uh, but then we all agreed that we didn't really want her to have a baby going forward. You know, if we went five years, we don't you, you don't really want. To. TJ running out for a kid all the time. And so, um, thankfully, the timing worked out. We wrapped, and I was about as pregnant as I am now, so we do it at the same time in December. And then we came back in March, and we already knew this. So, um, they were very respectful of my situation, and they were wonderful, and, uh, and they, uh, you know, 